Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Yeah, it's been a while. As I posted in the community tab, I've been busy at work and、uh, had to reduce my time for my channel. But today I got a little extra time, so I decided to record a new video. So last time we implemented this darkness and lighting effect, but I think it would be more interesting if we can provide this light. By using an item such as lantern, meaning、uh, if you don't have any lighting item, it's really dark. But if you equip a lantern in your inventory, then you can illuminate your surroundings. So that's what we're gonna do. But first of all, let me fix my code real quick. So I also posted this in the community tab. I included an unnecessary process. When I created this lighting class, so、um, after all, I was kind of overthinking, and、uh, we didn't really need to use this area class at all. So we just needed to create this、um, radial gradient paint. Then the lighting looks exactly the same. So、uh, let me delete this area. And also double x y and the shape and the area and all these clipping things, and also this fill light area and the fill screen area. And instead, we add this line. G two fill rect zero zero. Gp dot screen width and gp dot screen height and not filled rect. So we draw a screen size rectangle on this darkness filter buffered image with this paint settings. Okay, let me check. Yep. So it looks just like before. All right. Then let's implement a lantern. So I created this lantern image. So I'm gonna copy this to this objects package in the res folder, and then we create a class. O E J lantern. And I want to make this item equipable, like weapons or shields. You can equip and unequip this item. So we prepare the third kind of equipment. So first, go to the entity class, and we're gonna add a new attribute. Public entity current light or something. And also we add another attribute for items: public int light radius. So basically, this means the radius of the light circle. And、uh, if all the light sources are the same size, then this is not necessary. But in case you want to add various lighting items and differentiate the lighting power, then you can use this variable and pass a different light circle size. So I guess、um, having this kind of parameter would be handy. And finally, we add another item type. Type and light. And yeah, that's all about this entity. Go back to the lantern class. So type equal type light, and the name equal lantern, and the image down one equal. And also description.
and uh, maybe price I don't know like 200 finery light radius I'm gonna set like 250 and this class is also done okay so let's place this on the ground so asset setter okay let's check okay cannot see okay lantern yep we got a uh, lantern but of course nothing happens yet so then we want to equip and unequip this item so let's handle that so a player class and first we add a uh, variable public boolean light updated then uh, inside of this select item so right now basically there are three types that player can use or equip so weapon or shield or consumable but we add another condition here if selected item that type equal type light and if current light equal selected item then uh, current light equal no so this means you know you are you have already equipped this runtime so selected item is equal to current light in the case you unequip this item so we set no to this current light and uh, else so you selected the uh, lighting item but it's not something you have equipped so you equip this selected item so current light equal selected item and finally light updated equal true so i'm gonna explain about this boolean a bit later okay so that's it about this player class and now let's open the UI class so we're gonna edit the inventory screen so inside of this draw inventory method uh, so uh, here so equip castle so right now it's only weapon and shield so let's add lighting to or Entity dot inventory dot get i equal entity dot current right hmm? inventory uh, what inventory In <laughs> inventory okay yeah let's check and and equip unequip yeah and next let's change this lighting situation so lighting class so basically we handle two kinds of lighting situations here so the one is no light so it's completely dark and the other one is you know with right so to do that I'm gonna create a method public void set light source set light or set right source and I'm gonna move everything inside of this constructor to this method 
because whenever player's light source gets updated, we need to update the this darkness filter too. And if it's a method, we can call this whenever we want. So in this constructor, we just, uh, okay, I think I forgot to get GP. And also call this method, right, source. And also, we don't need this circle size anymore. So let's delete this. And uh, yeah, this one too. We were setting this manual number, but uh, now this is depends on the player's lighting item. So not gonna use this. And okay, here we check if player has any light or not. So after creating this buffer image, if gp dot player dot current light equal null then and we just set black color so no gradation just simple black filter or slightly transparent black filter and else so this means player has equipped a lighting item. So in the case, we're gonna create this radial gradient paint. So we're gonna move this to inside of this else bracket. And after that, we're gonna draw this screen size rectangle. Oh, and here, so instead of this circle size, we're gonna just type gp.player.currentlight. Uh, what is it? Light radius? Yeah, radius. And finally, we need to call this method and update the darkness filter whenever player equip or unequip, unequip a lighting item. So we create a update method to handle that. Public for the update. And inside of this update method, if gp.player.light updated call true then we're gonna call this that method right source and then player that right updated equal false you know so where is it here so when the player equipped or unequipped a lighting item then we change this light updated boolean to true so then this writing class is gonna call this method and uh, update this darkness filter we only call this method when the lighting is updated otherwise you know this method gets called 60 times per second and it's definitely not good for performance so that's why I created this light updated boolean and also um, don't forget to call that update from this environment manager too so public void update lighting update and also from this game panel as well. Probably around here. Uh, what is emanager dot update. Okay, I think that's everything. So let's check. 
Alright. Hmm. Yeah, so right now we have no light source, so it's pitch dark. Maybe it's too dark, I don't know. Uh, if you pick up a lantern and equip this, then yeah, so you know, we can see the surroundings. And if you unequip this, then yeah, so it's dark again. Cannot see much. Yeah. Oops, oops. Hmm. Yeah, so now we can switch this light on and off. So if you want, you can create various lighting items such as torch or maybe a lighting magic or something and set a different, you know, light radius. I don't know, maybe 100 or something. Yeah, like this. Yeah, anyway, that's all for today. Next video, we will implement day and night cycle. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.